Good evening, guys. Hello, hello, TGIF. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Mauricio, good evening. Great to see you. Uh, good Michelle, evening. good evening. Michelle. Damaris, good evening. Hi, Dinora. How are you guys? Hello. Good evening, Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Everything okay? Is everything good? Yes, everything. Everything all right? Did you find? Did you go to the shopping mall for a for a the Black Friday? <laughs> Fue alguien a hacer la, la, la gran fila, guys. Había filas de las. Hi, Amalia. Good evening. How are you doing? Guys, nadie trabaja en centro comercial. Nobody is like in shopping malls or we're close to shopping malls. Nobody is a self person. No, nobody. No. no. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. No encontraron tráfico, guys? There was no traffic at night? No, nothing? No. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad. They just, uh, I thought 
pensé que el día de ahora iba a estar super crazy. I just thought that it was gonna be full eh, por los centros comerciales, you know, and everything. But I'm glad, me alegra mucho que there was not much traffic in that case. Uh, ¿Salen temprano de trabajar, guys? Do you finish working early? Hi, Andrea. Ah, ok, ok, no worries. Me. In my case, I, I finish my work at, at 4 p.m. Ah, that was early. That was really yes. early. Ah, ok. Yes. Probably that's why you didn't find traffic on your way home. Okay, Salvador, good evening. Thank you for joining. Well, guys, I'm super glad uh, you're here. Thank you so much for joining and welcome to session number four. So, bienvenidos a nuestra sesión número eh, cuatro, right? From this module, vamos a empezar a trabajar. We're going to be working eh, con un par de actividades for today. And I'm really, really glad you are here, right? Eh, que no hayan encontrado much traffic. Eh, creo que Andrea va en camino. Gracias, Andrea, por eh, escucharnos, you know, for joining the class, incluso en su camino. Y espero que llegue sound and safe. Espero que llegue súper bien a su casa. Eh, just be careful, please, on your way. Uh, so, uh, what about the rest, guys? Uh, the Maris, ya está mejor. Are you feeling much better? Su voz ya está regresando. Is it going back? Ya como que queremos, teacher. Ah, okay. I'm super glad. Mine too. Ya más o menos eh, esta parece mi voz. No todavía. I'm like 70%, but, uh, pero ya va queriendo. You know? <laughs> so, I'm super so, glad. so. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, guys. Because. Lo que pasa es que creo que han dado procesos virales, gripes and everything, demasiado fuerte. So, and, and I speak every day. So imagine, mi voz no, no ha descansado desde hace varios días. So that's why. But I'm glad. I'm glad to see you there. Um, so guys, uh, uh, um, let me see. Creo que we got, uh, let me see. I think I have Salvador right there. So gracias por acompañarnos. I have Lady Julio. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss, Mr. Serrano. Thank you so much for joining. Espero Hi. que esté bien. Everything good? Thank Everything you. okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, okay, nice. Me alegra escuchar su voz. I'm glad to hear your voice. Eh, porque creo que no la había escuchado. <laughs> I think I hadn't heard it before, but I'm glad, I'm glad. Gracias por acompañarnos as well. Well, guys, eh, vamos a dar inicio a la sesión número 4 for today. Uh, Abigail, good evening. Thank you for joining too. Uh, vamos a trabajar un poquito ahora con recomendaciones. Uh, yesterday, guys, lastimosamente se nos acabó el tiempo. That was really interesting. Nos estaban por ahí socializando, right? Sobre sus empresas, guys, about your companies, about the company you work for. Um, so, algunos compañeros like were saying or mentioned a couple of things about the companies, eh, the do's and don'ts, right? ¿Qué es lo que se puede hacer? ¿Qué es lo que no se puede hacer? What are some things that you cannot do at work? Um, so, ¿qué recuerdan? Do you remember anything? O algo que se les quedó sin mencionar, que después recordaron, you know? And you were like, oh, en mi empresa no se puede hacer eso. So, uh, I remember somebody said, don't uh, have romantic relationships with partners. Eh, que era como una, una regla, right? That was kind of a rule, eh, which is totally understandable. Eh, recuerdo que alguien mencionaba, don't eat or don't have food at your desk, which sounds all right, sounds super common. Eh, guys, ¿tienen más reglas? Do you have like more rules in your workplace? Recuerdo que decían, arrive on time. Or arrive, or arrive early. Uh, I don't know. Guys, ¿tienen más? Do you have more? Sí, sure. Yes, miss. Don't smoke in, in the ah, work. Ah, ok. So don't smoke. Ok, yes. So it is not permitted. Ok. 
do we have more guys? Oh, what about eh, el uso de malas palabras? ¿Hay alguna regulación? Is there any regulation? No, not really. ¿Tienen más regulaciones, guys? Do you have more regulations in your workplace que no mencionaron el día de ayer? Do you work? Mm, I'm sorry, you said don't use pencil. No, don't use cell phone. Mm -hmm. Ah, during, don't use the cell phone. Ah, during sorry. The work. Okay, le escuché pencil, miss. <laughs> okay, so don't use your cell phone. All right, don't use your cell phone. Sounds okay. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más, guys? Anything else? Don't use your cell phone, que no utilice su teléfono, right? Uh -huh. Tenemos más regulaciones, do we have any other regulation? Don't use wear a short shirt. Don't wear short. Don't use wear short skirts. Sh ah, short skirts, don't wear for women. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, interesting. Very sure, very sure. Like mini skirts. Yeah. Ah, okay, so don't wear mini skirts. Okay. Do you have a uniform? Guys, do you wear uniforms? Yeah. Ah, okay, so the man is more wearing a, the uniform to more or less. Okay, so, ¿hay alguna regla con uniformes? Do you have any rule with uniforms? In my case, uh, I don't wear uniform. But eh, una de las reglas es que um, no puedo usar blusas sin manga, por ejemplo. So don't wear uh, tank tops, right? So no, no se puede. But guys, what is the regulation with your uni uniforms? Teacher, mm -hmm. yo mi camisa tiene que estar siempre dentro del pantalón. Ah, so wear your uh, blouse tuck. Le llamamos tuck in, que es como adentro, right? Tuck in. So, tucked in, wear your blouse, tuck in your pants. Ah, okay. No le puede andar así por fuera, or, ah, okay, okay. So, wear your blouse, tuck in, okay. Algo más, guys, anything else? Uh, ¿Hay alguna regla? Use the yeah. correct shirt yes, yes. or blouse. Correct blouse. What do you mean the by correct, correct blouse? Por ejemplo, tenemos dos colores, que tal ah. día vaya uno y que el otro día ah. sea el otro, como uniforme, es que todos ah. llevemos la misma camisa ese día. Ah, so you use like the, the assigned color, como el color designado, like the assigned color. Oh, okay, interesting. Guys, uh, ¿tienen reglas con zapatos? Like with sandals, zapatos de tacón, flats, do you have any rule with high heels? No. Tenis, teacher. Tenis, ¿qué es la regla? ¿Se puede o no se puede? Don't wear tenis no. or wear tenis. Yes, tenis. Ah, sí se puede. You can wear yes. tenis. Ah, ok. Pero sería el tipo de sneakers, me imagino. Como eh, zapatitos. Eh. Only color black. Ah, so sí tienen, sí tienen reglas. So you got some rules. <laughs> ok, the more is que hace. What do you do? Um, I am bartender in ah, okay. cash. And you are the cashier? Yes. I, I want to learn. I want to learn to be a bartender. <laughs> ah, okay. So you have to, you need to wear your, your black shoes. Okay. Okay. Pero si son como, como zapatines, right? Like sneakers. Eh, sí, son, pueden ser tenis y en, en algún momento puedo ir casual, pero mm -hmm. tienen que ser negros, Black. porque la camisa es café, es café, ah. es cami, como camiseta, entonces por eso la mayor parte del tiempo la usamos con tenis. Ah, ok, nice. Ya, yeah, eso, eh, este tipo de zapatos es, le llamamos sneakers. So, son como mm, zapatos deportivos, right? Uh, pero de uso casual, que los usamos todos los días. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. I like your uniform. I cannot wear sneakers. <laughs> okay, so nice. Guys, any other rule? Do you have more? No, Don't guys. speak uh -huh. during the work. Durante la hora de trabajo. 
Don't speak. Con I just, I just hear compañeros. you. You can't. Okay, wait. Don't speak. Es pues como no estar hablando con esas personales, pues, durante horas de trabajo. Y la tiene como regla. You have it as a rule. Creo que es bien difícil, right? <laughs> I think that is really hard. <laughs> Everybody needs to Es una manera de sociabilizar con las demás yes. personas. <laughs> wow, that is really hard. Uh -huh. I couldn't avoid it. Okay, okay. Interesting. So don't say eh, or don't speak about personal problems. Don't speak about your personal life, right? Ah, okay. Don't use cell phone when walking. When walking. Abigail, um, where do you work? Es que había visto esta regla before, pero en CAES del Salvador. Uh, Abigail, ¿es por seguridad industrial? So you work for I, for AES, right? Hi, Juan Jose. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, I have seen it in eyes because in eyes they said that um, if you are walking and you, if you are in your cell phone, you can have an accident. So, for Seguridad Industrial, they have this rule. Okay. Yes. And they are very, you are, very, the company is very strict, right? So, son bien estricto con las reglas. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, guys, what about the rest? Do we have more rules? No more? For example, in my case, gentlemen, can use gap, can use shorts. You can't? Ne never. Oh, okay, shorts. Okay, don't wear caps, don't wear shorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about jewelry? Is that okay um, if you wear some jewelry? I like work some... in a factory. You work in a factory. Yeah. Uh, so but in jewelry... uh, we have a uh, vestment clothes uh, called and include um, don't, for example, don't use uh, shorts, don't use gap, don't use Thank top in in a gentleman, in in a girls don't use sandals, mm -hmm. um, don't use uh, sh short very shorts, like um, mini shirts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about makeup? Is it permitted to wear makeup on girls? Yes, it is uh, don't 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 worry. Um, you uh, agree? That rules to the. Industrial security, but mm -hmm. makeup no not problem. Uh, ah, okay. The hair, the hair, for example, in a girls, the hair is uh, uh, tied. You say, uh, yeah. Tied, uh -huh. tied, como amarrado, right? Ah, it has okay. to be tied. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. We mm -hmm. can say tied, or we can say uh, it has to be in a bun. So yeah. a bun is como en un moñito. Uh -huh. So it gotta yeah. be bun, or it gotta be in a tie. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sure. For, sure. And that is for uh, safety. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Can can hair get stuck? El cabello puede because, quedar atrapado? Can it be stuck? Yeah, because it's very dangerous. And uh, for an accident, uh, for the machines, uh -huh. uh, um, sometimes um, uh, a few years ago, uh, we have uh, an accident. Uh, uh, a girl, um, the the bundles for the machines uh -huh. uh, keep the, the her hair. Oh my god! Yeah. So I I wrote in the chat this word that is get stuck. So her hair got yeah. stuck. Quedó trabado. Yeah. Oh my god! Is she okay? Mm, yeah. Yes. But it is very dangerous. Ben. Then uh, we have the rules. Uh, for example, this. So I imagine then that men cannot wear ties. So men are not supposed to wear like um, corbatines, corbatas, right? Men cannot wear ties. You, you're mute, you're mute. Se <laughs> mutió. I just see you talking. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Don't use for the same case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Okay, 
wow that sounds dangerous okay yeah. but it's because what what do you make in the factory uh, i am a production manager you are a production manager and, and what yeah. does your company make what do you create uh, clothes for <laughs> children's and ah, okay. for example so yeah, and we have we make um, pants shorts for girls for sh shorts for boys and legends for the girls ah okay yeah. national or international no we have uh, we have worked for the walmart in the usa oh oh nice okay. Um, okay i'm glad to hear that oh okay okay but it sounds very um like a very dangerous thing so i understand why you have a lot of safety precautions i gotta say yeah ah, okay okay so interesting okay um guys so besides the ones that jorge mentioned do we have others is there any don't in your company anything else you're not supposed to do in some companies for example one of the rules says don't wear i don't know if this is your case uh because of safety don't wear a high heel guys do you have this rule like in your company no se pueden usar zapatos altos in case of women don't wear high heels no that is not a um a prohibition a policy not in your company okay like in the in a place i worked before um this was one prohibition so don't wear high heels i couldn't wear high heels at all uh, because of safety you know but okay i'm super glad i'm super glad that is not your case all right guys uh so let's move on a little bit uh, we are going to now give some recommendations give me a moment mm -hmm. No se escucha, teacher. Yo bien emocionada hablando, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got mute. I muted myself. Okay, now I, I was mentioning that yesterday, con la parte de do's and don'ts, no sé qué momento me quedé en silencio. <laughs> we were talking about lo que se puede y no se puede, the things that we can and we cannot do. Right, vamos a mover un poquito y vamos a irnos a recomendaciones. So we're going to move to recommendations. Esta ya no es que debe o no debe, es más debería, you debería. know, pero no necesariamente es una regla. This is not a rule, solo es como lo que yo pienso. What I think, what I believe, it's correct. So um, I have this little conversation. It says listen to your teacher, but more than listening to me, I want you to listen to yourselves. So uh, just let's take a look at some expressions. Give me one second. See, sí, ya me voy a regreso, oh, guys. This is my voice. Previous days I was like, wait, that's not my voice. <laughs> Something is going under, but um, I'm glad this is coming back. Okay, um, so let me take a look here. Vamos a practicar solamente un par de palabritas, a couple of words that may be a little complicated in this one okay guys so first repeat with me esta palabra que vemos primero la pronunciamos should guys let's repeat it should should okay very good next one improve, improve. Mm -hmm. 
Next one, manufacturing. Manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Reduce. 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 Mm -hmm. Equipment. Equip Equipment. Equipment. Mm -hmm. Equipment. Uh, machines. 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 Very nice. And 21st. 21st. Mm -hmm. No, it's 21, but it's 21st. Okay, guys. So first, uh, one more time, revisemos unas palabritas here. This is improve. Repeat with me, please. Improve. Improve. Mm -hmm. Improve. Reduce. 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 Equipment. 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 Machines. Machines. And 21st. 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 Very nice. Okay, guys. So we have like this little conversation and I just need uh, two volunteers, please. I have Peter and I have Bertha. Who wants to read, guys? <laughs> Who's got a beautiful voice? <laughs> okay, thank you, Abigail. Please help me with Berta. And mm -hmm. I see Damaris. Okay, Damaris, please help me with Peter. I am Peter. Yes, you're going to be Peter and, and Abigail is going to be Berta. Okay. Berta, do you think that our company should should improve the manufacturing i believe so why do you ask because if we do so we re reduce cost i see i think that we should do what other companies are doing and that is getting new equipment. Equipment. I mean, we should don't have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. We meet you. Okay, very nice, guys. Really, really nice. So we have this word, right? That is uh, equipment. So el equipo. Guys, what are they talking about? ¿De qué se trata la conversación? What is this about? Sobre la manufactura. De mejorar el proceso de manufactura. Ok. Costo de manufactura, teacher. Ah, ok. So reducing the costs. Exactly. New equipment. They talk about machines. All right. Pero uh, the cue here uh, is this little word that is should. So they are talking about they should improve. Deberías mejorar, deberían mejorar, right? Uh, we should do what other companies are doing. We should be in 21st century. Uh, or we should talk about that in the next meeting. So el significado, guys, o el tono, más bien, about this conversation is being soft. No le estoy ordenando. I'm not ordering the person. Peter no le está ordenando. Peter le está recomendando. Sugiriendo. So, uh -huh, so giving suggestions. Como cuando usted le quiere recomendar a alguien, pero no en un tono de hágalo. No, solo creo que esto es mejor. I think this is what we should be doing. So we're going to practice today a little bit of should. Should is bien fácil, guys. Really easy to use. Es super útil. Very useful because we are giving recommendations to other people. So, si yo le quiero decir, ah, debería hacer esto, I'm going to use should. What is the negative form? Easy. I'm going to use shouldn't. You should. You shouldn't. Ah, tú no deberías hacerlo. You shouldn't do it. Take a look at this one, guys. Uh, again, la L no se pronuncia. We don't say should, but we say should. You should 
And you shouldn't, shouldn't. No suena la L, we don't pronounce it. Guys, repeat with me, please. You should. Repeat it conmigo, guys. You should. 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 Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. So you should, you shouldn't. No suena la L, we don't pronounce that. All right. Now, I have a couple of scenarios and I want you to give me some suggestions or some recommendations. So, vamos a movernos un poquito. We're going to move a little bit from manufacturing. Vamos a um, aterrizarlo into real expressions, real things, cosas que nos pasan en la vida real, right? Um, and we use it for recommendations. Es más fácil if it is easier for you. Eh, ordenarlo con estructura. Pretty much, I just need subject. I need should, like you should, and then a verb. So you should go. Or negative, you shouldn't go if it is easier for you. But actually, it's being fácil. It's really easy. Wait, I'm going to move go. Go is a verb. Then we have subject, and then we have should, and that's it. So you should go, you should sleep more, you should go to the doctor, etc. Imagine, guys, imagine um, I tell you, hey, guys, I feel so tired uh, because I have a lot of work to do. That I think everybody's like this, right? December is coming, Black Friday is coming, numbers are coming, a lot of things are going on. So guys, I feel so tired because I have a lot of work. Can you give me some recommendations? You should wake up early. Mm -hmm. No, I wake up early. <laughs> Maybe you should be relaxed. Ah, okay, I should relax ah, a little okay. more. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I feel so tired, okay. guys. Uh -huh. Give me some, give me some. What, what should I do? I remember, no, no es una obligación. I should take a nap, okay, yeah, it might help. Good job. Uh -huh. Sorry, English. I should study English. Why? <laughs> okay, we can also make negative guys like you should. You can include you should not. So we can also say you shouldn't. No deberías. O deberías no, no, no. You should study English. I should study English. Why? Tú deberías estudiar English. Uh, why? Por qué? Why? Because is um, um, because I need in the work. Ah, okay, okay. But the thing is that I feel so tired. So me siento cansada. I feel so tired because I have a lot of work. So, ¿qué más debería hacer? I should take a nap. I should relax. What else, guys? Give me more. You should sleep more. I should sleep more. Okay, I should sleep more. Okay. You go nice. to bed early. I should go to bed early. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. You should pay, atten pay attention. I should pay attention. Why? In your class. <clears throat> ah, okay. No, but 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 like in this scenario, right? Imagine, imagine that this is happening to us. Imagine that okay, you come, your friend comes, and your friend is like, "Hey, Damaris, I feel so tired because I have a lot of work." So, ¿qué le recomienda su amiga? What do you recommend your friend? What you do you should, tell your friend? Uh -huh. You should go to the beach. Ah, there we go. Okay, you should go to the beach. Uh huh. More often. <laughs> what else, guys? You should, uh -huh. 
you should drink something. Ah, oh, you should drink something like to relax. Yes. Ah, okay. beer. And no, beer's not tea. He said. <laughs> so we are healthy here. <laughs> Okay, it's Friday, I know this, but take it easy. Teacher. <laughs> yes. No sé si está el compañero Ezequiel. Ah, uh, wait, no. Yo o creo se nos fue para el carnaval. Ah, it's true. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to ask these guys. I see Salvador, I see Michelle. Uh, Lady is here, Kenny is here, Juanjo is gonna, Juanjo no se fue para el carnaval también. <laughs> I see Mr. Sanchez, Georgina, Blanca, hi, hi girl. Uh, I see Abigail, no, it's true, Ezequiel is not here. I am andar bailando en una pata, he's gonna be dancing. <laughs> and is today the carnival? No, right? I don't know. I don't know. Como dijo que todos los días había fiesta, a lo mejor. Uh, I know that the carnival is going to be like, like a week, I think. Tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Oh, my God. Tomorrow. Oh, I have classes. <laughs> I can't go. <laughs> you should go to the carnival. No, too many people. I'll get COVID. <laughs> I shouldn't. There's so many people in there, uh, but I like dancing, so maybe I should go dancing. That's a, a good recommendation too. So let's change a scenario, guys. Um, so I do not have money. I wanted to buy something today in Black Friday. I do not have money. So what do you think I should do, guys? Uh, today is the 25th. Y ya no tengo dinero. I don't have a penny to survive the November. So, what's your recommendation, guys? ¿Qué debería de hacer? What should I do? So, what should I do? ¿Qué debería de hacer? What should I do, guys? Give me some recommendations. I don't have a penny. I don't have a, any money, guys. Ni un centavo. I don't have a penny. What should I do? You should go uh -huh. to home or work. But I work. Ya me lo gasté. I spent all my money. <laughs> or I wasted all my money. I don't know. So, uh -huh. so what, what can I do, guys? I need to survive five days until December, until payday. So what should I do? <laughs> ah, I should ask for money in my company. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Suddenly I realized like, do they Podría ser una regla que den adelanto. Ah, uh, okay. So ask for money, ask for money in advance. So in advance is como por adelantado, right? Ask for money in advance. Okay. Okay, guys, so give us some recommendations. ¿Qué hacen cuando se quedan sin dinero, guys? What do you do? Ask for this expression is pedir. So what do you do when you don't have money? Teacher, you... uh -huh. vende. O vender. Ah, uh -huh. how do you say vender? Guys, ayúdenme. How do you say vender? Sell. Sell. There you go. Sell. Sell. sell, sell me. You should sell your cell phone. No, my cell phone, no, because my, my WhatsApp groups <laughs> and my English groups are there. Empeñado, teacher. <laughs> I should go to the like cornucopia. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So I should go to the phone store. That's a possibility. Uh -huh. Give us more. Give us more, guys. What can I do? I don't have any money, people. You should make a loan with your ah, parents. There you go. Uh, so, pedir is ask for. I should ask for a loan. Very nice. I should ask for a loan. So, pedir un préstamo, right? 
I should ask for a loan mm -hmm. in the bank or with my no with my parents no people a la mama. no I cannot ask for money guys oh, your friends. No, I'm old. oh your friends I cannot ah my friends maybe Okay. Teacher, se escucha friend. bastante interferencia. Sí, fíjese, creo que alguien ha dejado abierto el micrófono, I think. Ok, ya está. There you go. Ok, so I should ask for a loan. I should ask for some money to my boss. No, but I'm so embarrassed. What else? Give me more ideas. I should sell my phone. What else? What else? What can I do, guys? Only five days more to survive. Do you have another recommendation for me? No pagar el recibo de agua y luz y quedarse el dinero. <laughs> no, that's a bad recommendation. <laughs> I should pay for the bills. Uh -huh. so, oh, those are bills. So I should pay for my bills. Uh -huh. So electricity bill, water bill, cell phone bill, right? So las facturas eh, o recibos, we call them bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have as for a loan, we have sale. Uh, we, I'm going to include them here in the chat para que los vayamos anotando tú, para que los hagan parte de su vocabulary. Okay, do we have another, guys? Me interesa saber, guys, qué hacen cuando están cortos de dinero. What do you do when you are short of money? Hi. Uh -huh. I don't eat hamburgers, tacos, uh -huh. eh, el vaquero mazahual, soditas. Uh, okay. Ah, vaya, dígame eso. Dígame que no debería de comer nada de eso. Uh, I don't eat it. Uh -huh. So, podemos utilizar shouldn't. Tú no deberías ah. estar. Uh -huh. You should, you should not, not. Uh -huh. Uh, um, we can use the word spend. Spend is gastar. You should not spend in in chucherías. Mm -hmm. Snacks. Um, uh -huh. I shouldn't spend money in snacks. Okay. Ropa yes, teacher. Yes. Clothes. Clothes, and ah, okay. sneakers, ah, okay. shoes. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, very nice. Really, really nice. Guys, do you have more recommendations for us? You should use what you save. I should? Use what you save. Usarlo ahorrado. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have savings. Tú deberías de, deberías de usar lo ahorrado. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, like savings. We can use the What word savings. What do you savings. say? What do you yeah. say? Yeah, we can use the word savings, como los okay. ahorros, right? Okay. I should use my savings. Yes, that can definitely. Ah, okay. Abigail says, I should spend less. Yes, debería de gastar menos dinero. That is totally Thank right. Mm-hmm. Una que yo pone otra idea y no hay que esto, no, mm, no dale, sé, sé, cómo, sé. cómo manejar el dinero, cómo saberlo administrar. administrar. Ah, ok. So, guys, ayúdenos. How can I say organizar mi dinero mejor? Well, depende. Puedo decir, por ejemplo, you should, tú deberías hacer un, um, como un presupuesto, right? You should make or you should have a budget. Deberías hacer un presupuesto, budget. You should have a budget. You should organize your money or organize your, uh, your payment, right? You should... You should things that not use. Abigail, eh, Miss Mendoza, ayúdeme con la suya. Deberías, uh, pero creo que me falta el verbo. Ah, I should sell. I should sell the things that I, not, uh, that I do not use. Okay, okay, makes sense. Debería vender lo que no ocupo, right? My bed, my clothes, <laughs> my computer. Okay, very nice. Yeah. 
Good indeed. So pretty much your cell just, phone. My no, all me is my cell phone. <laughs> no, my cell phone is my second computer. So that is why my cell phone is important. But but yeah, I agree. They would yeah, when they're looking up, well, I should sell the things that I don't need. All right, there we go. So utilizamos should para eso to give recommendations. También puedo agregar cosas que no debería de hacer that you shouldn't. Um, preguntas, questions? Do you have any doubt? No doubt. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. And we are going to um, give a couple of recommendations here. So uh, remember, this is the structure. Let me have some scenarios, right? And <clears throat> we can talk about it. So I feel, uh, guys, Tu empresa tiene reglas contra, contra flu, si andan enfermos, si se sienten mal. ¿Los mandan para la casa o algo? No. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ok, so vamos a incluir algo así. So, I feel sick. I have... I have a cough. Flu. What are the symptoms, guys? Cough. Flu. Feather. Headache? Okay, so headache. Uh, Diarrhea? No. I don't know. How do you say temperature, teacher? Ah, yeah. okay, fever. Fever. Mm -hmm. fever. So fever. Okay, so what should I do? What should I do? Okay, so you can give us some recommendations. Okay. Next one, let's think about another scenario. I overslept. Do you know the meaning of overslept? I overslept? No. 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 Okay. I overslept is me quedé dormido. Me quedé dormida, ah. right? Cuando la alarma no suena y se levanta super tarde. So, guys, I overslept. I woke up late. And uh, I and I let me let me have the worst scenario. I overslept. I woke I woke up late, and I have an important an important presentation. Uh, what should I do? Okay, guys, Karia, what should what do you think I should do? O que harían ustedes? Like, um, it's super late. Ya me agarró la tarde. Um, it's super, super late. Tenía una presentación. I had an important presentation. So, que harían? What do you think I should do? Debo de llamar y decirle a mi jefe, hey boss, me quedé dormida. So, I'm late. Or, debería de mentir? Should I lie to my boss? Um, uh, should I say I'm, I'm going to Seguro Social? <laughs> Guys, give us some recommendations. What should I do? Um, give me another scenario, guys. Algo que les haya pasado, something that has happened to you, so we can get some recommendations. I take a taxi. You'll take a taxi in that scenario. Pero es que ya, you were asleep. Ya se quedó dormido. You know, it's super, super late. So I woke up late. Y tenía la presentación. You had that presentation. So that is the point. What should I do? <laughs> okay. Uh, remember, vamos a dar recomendaciones. Imagínense que me están dando recomendaciones a mí. So vamos a hacerlo con should, shouldn't. Tú deberías, tú no deberías, right? You shouldn't, you shouldn't. And podemos dar más información porque. Uh, let me think about another scenario. Okay. So I. Teacher. Yes. You should go to the is. <laughs> Hasta la, la respuesta tiene lista, right? <laughs> you have your answer already. Okay, uh, let me think about something else. Okay, 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 okay. So I found a wallet in the street. Uh, the wallet. 
has money on it. What should I do? Okay, really interesting. And I think that these are scenarios or things that happen to us like on a daily basis. So take a look at number one, right? Uh, number one says, I feel sick. I have a cough, like <coughs> flu, a sure. Headache, so my head hurts. I have fever. What should I do? In su caso, guys, um, ¿qué recomiendan? What do you recommend? ¿Debería de ir a trabajar? Should I go to work? ¿Debería de, um, I don't know, hacerme una prueba? ¿Debería de tomar algo? I don't know. What should I do? Number two, I overslept. Me quedé dormida. I overslept. I woke up late. And I have an important presentation. La presentación es súper temprano, but I overslept. What should I do? Yeah, you should take a taxi. Yes, but. Pero aún con el taxi, guys. I overslept. Just super tarde. Imagine if I live in Soyapango y con el tráfico. So, oh my God. Okay, what should I do? And the last one. I found a wallet. Encontré una billetera. I found a wallet in the street. The wallet has money on it. La billetera tiene dinero. What should I do? What do you recommend over to me? Preguntas, guys. ¿Se entienden las situaciones? Are they easy to understand? ¿Dudas con el vocabulario? Ok. Tomar el silencio como no. <laughs> ok, so we're going to uh, practice. We're going to talk a little bit about these scenarios. Uh, remember to give recommendations con should or shouldn't. So, vamos a ver. Hector. Hi, Exaquel. Good evening. So, we're going to have... Creo que André iba en camino. Kenia, si me ayuda con su nombre completo, please. And Miss Bonilla, si me ayuda con su nombre completo, también, please. That would be nice. Okay, guys. So, vamos a crear un par de uh, situaciones here. We're going to make a couple of situations. Son las que tenemos acá en la pizarra. It's going to be this one. Uh, guys, tenemos todas estas situaciones. We have all of these situations. La pregunta es, ¿qué debemos hacer? What should you do? In this scenario. Hello. Hello, teacher. In my case, mm -hmm. in my company, mm -hmm. um, you should mm -hmm. inform your boss. Ah, okay. And you should go to the So you should call your boss? And you should visit the Ah, okay. But usted quería. What what do you think I should do? Because um, it was a really important, a really really important presentation. Y ya me lo it's late already. Uh -huh. in, the, in the two situation, mm -hmm. uh, I should call the boss and notify mm, and okay. her meeting for things. <laughs> We have ah like an online like an online meeting. Yes, uh, o sea, le diría que la, le notificaría a mi jefe que me quedé dormida o que me atrasé y que me deje de casa para tener la portings la reunión. Oh, I like it. De hecho, no se me había ocurrido, Miss. Qué buena es con, con resolver problemas. You're good at problem solving. Es que ah. ya me pasó. <laughs> experience talking. <laughs> yeah, because to be honest, no se me había ocurrido um, que podía ser solventado. Ok, ok. Como me quedo en la casa, tengo la reunión y me voy después a trabajar. Good idea. Oh, yes, yeah, that's a really good idea. Wow. Esa es muy buena resolución de conflictos. Uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> Teacher. Okay. Yeah. Así. Yeah, acá tomando notas. <laughs> Believe me, he aprendido mucho. I have learned a lot. 
from recommendations of students. La última vez, what was that? Ah, I was asking some people for recommendations eh, para dormir. And somebody told me, no, teacher, don't worry. Si no puedo dormir, if you can fall asleep, tómese una clorfe. So take a clorfe. I was like, what? <laughs> y funcionó. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was impressed. So guys, uh, vamos a dar un par de recomendaciones, right? For each scenario. ¿Qué debemos, qué no debemos hacer? Uh, with something we should be doing. Um, les voy a cerrar mi micrófono para que puedan opinar. So todos puedan participar, right? And uh, vámonos, guys. Uh, quienes me faltan todavía de unirse a los grupos. Eh, chicos, me avisan si tienen problemas con el inter. Mm, eh, Lady, no sé si está por acá. Salvador, no sé si está over here. Hi, Noé, good evening. So, unámonos al grupo 2. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. And uh, para que damos, demos un par de eh, recommendations, right? So, guys, el, la, la, el room es todo suyo. And please, let's give recommendations. Uh, guys, nos quedamos acá en la sesión eh, Mauricio, Abigail, okay. Georgina, Ezequiel, Salvador, eh, Dinora, y Namaris. Quédense acá, guys. Stay here okay. para que puedan participar. Too. Ok. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry I'm not... for no... Hello. Hello. Bueno. Hello. Eh, eh... Empecemos por, por la primera, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que sugieren cada una? Podemos decir como suyapa, ¿qué, qué opinas de la primera? I feel sick, I have cough, flu, headache, fever, what should do, I do? O cualquiera puede opinar, cualquiera. Eh, yo, I think... Uh, you should go to the hospital in the first. Escucharon. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. ¿Quién estaba vale. participando? Sí. Este, Abigail. Hola. Este, puede, okay. ¿Puedes opinar en la primera pregunta? Ok. Of course. Ok. ¿Qué opinas en la primera? Ok. You should. You should. Inform. Inform. And you should go to East. East. Ok. You should go to East. Ok. Eh, ¿Soy Apa? ¿Dinora? Hello. Yo me desconecté un ratito porque tuve que salir, pero wow. eh, solo una consulta. Tienen que hacer recomendaciones acerca de las tres sí, opciones de las que tres. hay acá. Sí, okay. puede, puede, para que tengamos, eh, podemos hacer de cualquiera. ¿va? Ya llevamos dos de la primera, pero hagamos dos de la segunda. De, I oversleep. Oversleep. Uh, wake up late and I have important presentation. What should I do? ¿Qué deberíamos de hacer si nosotros nos dormimos y tenemos una presentación importante? Mm. 
como alistarnos bien rápido, pienso. Ah, no, o, o, este, o llamar, avisar. O hacer la presentación en línea. Que se va a llegar. Eh, tarde, exacto. Uh, you should use a Zoom. Ajá. ¿Va? También. Es una manera okay. de, 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 de decir, va. You should. Yo, 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 Armando, este, ah, ahorita la mano. De, <ríe> but it's similar. Ay, esa salsa inglesa, que es sabroso, es hermoso. Sí, es sí, similar. O, o mandar la presentación <ríe> al jefe para que uh -huh. la manda. You choose? You choose? Send an email. Ajá, ok. Choose, send. You choose the presentation. Medio mesa, salsa inglesa. Mandar el PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Pepi mesa, salsa inglesa. También podría ser este. Shay, you shay. Pepi mesa, esa es. Miren, la presencia virtual. También. También. Que la eh, ya tenemos ella. dos de la segunda. Podríamos leerla. Sí. 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 Primera, en la primera <ríe> dice, I feel sick, cuando uno está enfermo, ¿verdad? Eh, you okay. should go to the hospital the first. Uh -huh. one, eh, you should go to east. ¿Quién dijo eso? Su... Mi. ¿Ah? ¿Es correcto Mi. lo que dije? <risa> ah. Vale. Ya tenemos dos. Podemos agregarle a ese. You should claro. that is en notifique da voz. Ah, ok. Ese. You should en... go go to the bo... go to, to the is. Is. Comunicator. At your boss. At your boss. At your boss. At your boss. Okay. Ya tenemos dos. En la segunda, you should use the Zoom para dar la, la presentación. La presentación. Uh -huh. pres y. You should send the PowerPoint at your book. For email. For email. For mm -hmm. email. My. Ok. Ya tenemos cuatro. Veamos la última. I found wallet in this. In you this should thing. go hurry up. What? You, sh you should go hurry up. You should. Tú go. deberías irte rápido. <laughs> no, dice Bien. que encontramos una cartera. Ah, caray, ¿en cuál están ya? En la tercera. Oh, ah, lo siento. No, <laughs> pero, no pero podemos agregarlo. ¿En, la, en cuál sí, le estás diciendo? En la primera. Sí, ah, super dilo, dilo. Colorear y actividades. You should go hurry up. Pero si ya nos agarró la tarde, ya. Que corra. Sí, <ríe> pues en avión se puede ir, pues ya le agarró la tarde. <ríe> pienso, <ríe> pienso, pero lo voy a anotar. You should go hurry up. Así es, ¿verdad? Ok. En la tercera, cuando encontramos in, una cartera en la calle, in the, 
affairs. Cuando contamos una cartera en la calle que, y tiene dinero, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Buscar este, si tiene documentos. Exactamente. Yo pienso revis, Entonces, revisar este, algún documento, si hay algún número de teléfono. dirección, exacto. Entonces, you should... Check the document. ¿Cómo? Revisar. ¿Qué dices? Revisar. Checkar, check, checkar, check. Ajá, los documentos. Check y, document. y buscar eh, un número de celular. Ajá. Ah. Y phone. Number. Phone. Ok. And. Call. Llamarlo. Llamarlo. Va. Call. Yes. Call. Ok. Y si no encuentra eso, podemos poner lo que deberíamos de comunicarlo en las redes sociales. Va. You ah, choose. Sí. Yes. You choose. Eh, publicar. What do you say? Publicar. Posit. Posit. Ah, posit. Sí, es cierto. Posit. In Facebook o redes sociales. Social. Social red. Social. On Facebook. Social media. Ajá. Social media se escribe. ¿Cómo? Redes sociales. Social media. Social Me, media. Ah, media, media, ok. Eh, ¿Podemos poner entre paréntesis Facebook? Eh, ¿Cómo es? Instagram, TikTok, algo así, no okay. sé. ¿Verdad? Pero son las diferentes. ¿Qué otra podríamos? Uh, I think. I think you should give in at the police station. Ah. You no. should. <laughs> you should give it. You should. O oh, publicarlo en la, eh, en la radio. You should. Post. It. In the radio. ¿Cómo llevo? ¿Cuál es la otra que me dijeron que esa sí no la noté? ¿Algo más? Yo decía, este, you should giving a the police. Giving. Uh -huh. Entregar a la policía. Ok. Ok. A the police. Police. Ok. ¿Cuántos minutos tenemos? Lo han anotado. Claro, no. Eh, ¿Cuántas son de la primera? Eh, de la primera son tres. Eh, eh, eran tengo... dos de cada una, dijo ella, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Dos de cada una. Yo dos tengo... de cada una. Pero no hemos puesto ni una negativa. ¿Qué mm. es lo que no deberíamos de hacer? Vaya, por ejemplo, en la última podemos. You children. You children. No. Gastar el dinero de la cartera va. No sí. use the money. You ¿Eh? should should not use you the money. You should wallet. Should they take a money? Yeah. No sería mejor spend, no gastar. Ah, ¿qué? Sí, ya, yeah, es mejor spend. Es correcto, spend. Es mejor. Spend the money, the wallet. Of the wallet. De la cartera. De la segunda, ¿qué negativa podemos hacer? No mentirle al jefe, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, porque siempre se va a dar cuenta. Eh, sí, siempre se da cuenta. 
pero si vamos en capacidad, lo va a aceptar. Eso está bien. No ¿verdad? mentir. No sí. mentir. You should not. You should not. No. What do you say mentir? Ahorita. To lie. lie. To lie. No, uh -huh, to shall, lie. You shall, you shall not to lie. Lie. To okay, your boss. Yeah. To eh, your boss. Pero What? salía solo like, no to like, sino solo like. No to like. No mentir. Like. No, no, tú no, solo uh -huh. like. El verbo es mentir, like. Ah, Porque sí, si cierto, es tu like, después del verbo es para la forma. No yeah, en forma imperativo. infinitiva, sino en forma. You should not lie. Not yeah. lie. You shouldn't lie. You shouldn't lie. Ok. Eh, uh -huh, eh, también uh -huh. podríamos poner you shouldn't not be late tú no deberías llegar tarde es correcto también no deberías llegar tarde uh -huh. you, should, you not should not be late be late o sea L-A-T-E -E. late Nah. Sí, no deberíamos de llegar tarde porque es la nuestra responsabilidad. ¿verdad? Vaya, ya tenemos tres uh -huh. de las dos últimas. Eh, dos positivas y dos negativas. Pongamos una negativa en la primera. Cuando nos sentimos, sentimos enfermos. Se me ocurre en mi caso, en mi case, y lo que me dice la mi empresa. You should not go to the office Sick. O sea, no lleguemos a la empresa enfermos. Oh. Ah, como es una regla, debemos de respetarla ¿va? y nos salvamos. Yes. <ríe> También tengo otra aquí. Ah, no, dígala. You should not self-medicate. No deberías medicar, automedicarte. Ajá, medicar. Automedicarte. Ajá. Automedicarse. Entonces Ajá. pongamos... Eh, eh, You, you should, should not you should not, not self perdón self te he cortado self s self. ajá s ajá. e s l f ajá medicate medicate ah, medicate, medicate. Ajá. ok Va, ya tenemos tres de cada una. Y ahí podemos usar la imaginación. Así como hemos sacado eso, podemos usar la imaginación. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Cuál es? Cuál, disculpen, okay. ¿cuáles son las de la segunda? ¿La de la segunda? ¿La negativa? No, las positivas. Mm. Dividido bien con el tema. Hacerlo bonito. You should send the PowerPoint as you put for my. You should. Ya estamos listos, ¿verdad? Bueno. Already, guys. So thank I you will. so much for that. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I, I am glad that you were able to, <clears throat> to practice a little bit. Um, okay, so guys, tell us a little bit about the recommendations you came up with. Number one, so what about the first scenario? If you have some symptoms of COVID, uh, or if you're feeling bad, or if you have fever, uh, what is something that you should do? What do you think?
Uh, you should go to the hospital. Okay, you should go to the hospital. You should go to the visit the doctor. Uh, okay, you should go to visit the doctor. I don't know why I hear I should go to the beach. <laughs> Yeah, I want beach. Yeah, you should go to visit the doctor. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, podría ser, o sea, should, you should not go to the office if you feel sick. Ah, oh, very nice. You should not go it's to the, the office. Rule. Uh huh. Yeah, some companies have that rule, right? Okay, nice. That sounds good. Do you have another? You should or you shouldn't. You should, mm -hmm. you should you should medicate. Ah, you shouldn't self-medicate. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't self-prescribe. Uh -huh. And and I see, yeah. you know, ourselves with um Viro Grip, <laughs> <laughs> with acetaminophen, so with uh, antibiotics. <laughs> oh, exactly, and we shouldn't self-medicate. It's impossible. <laughs> I think it's a, uh, uh -huh. I mean, pero con cosas así, right? Normal stuff, common stuff. Mm -hmm. Ginger okay. tea. Ah, uh, oh, but that is more like teas. Ginger tea, eh, cinnamon tea, chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that is like a little bit more natural. Okay, Um. second, guys. I think it's really interesting. It says, I overslept. I woke up very late and I have this important um, a meeting. What should I do, guys? You should use the Zoom by presentation. Oh, okay. Well, you should use Zoom to make a presentation. Uh -huh. Or another platform. Ah, okay. But online. Yes. You should yes. send a presentation for email. Or ah, you should send a presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Call, Teacher. You should call for pedir more time. Ah, you should ask. Debería de pedir. Okay. You should ask for more time. Ah, okay. Yes. You Is should teacher? not be late, teacher. Yes, but you are late. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is almost impossible. You are late already. Uh -huh. So anything else? Uh, you should you should change the meeting present meeting present presential to virtual. Ah, uh -huh. you should change uh, the meeting. Uh -huh. Yes, de hecho, creo que es una muy buena recomendación. I think it's a really good uh, recommendation. Do you have another? You should change the time. You should change the time, okay. Yeah, right, you should change the time of the presentation. Any other guys? Do you have another um, recommendation? Teacher, how do you say alarm? Alarm clock. Ah, okay. <laughs> you should um, activate the alarm clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you should activate the alarm clock. Uh, okay. Um, Teacher. Men many <laughs> You should activate many alarm clocks. Okay. Wait. Yeah. 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 In, yeah. My case, in my case, I have five alarm clocks. Me too. De hecho, me dio risa because I was thinking about it. <laughs> for Just, each minute. I mean, I have not for each minute, but tengo cada cinco minutos. I have every five minutes. <laughs> So it is unbelievable, but yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other recommendation, guys? Qué interesante. Uh -huh. You should not. Lie to your boss. You should not. Wow. Lie. Okay. So you should not lie. 
Y yo iba a decir que sí, you know. <laughs> I was gonna say you should. Okay, okay, nice. Sounds really good. Sounds actually very, very nice. Okay, and the last one, guys. I found a wallet in the street. Uh, the wallet has some money on it. What should I do? What do you think we should do in that scenario or in that case? Um, do you think I, I should take the money? Do you think it's a good idea to take the money? Debería de tomar el dinero? Should I take the money? You should. O no debería, or I shouldn't take the you money. You shouldn't not. You shouldn't not. Mm -hmm. Take a money. Take a money. Okay, so I shouldn't take the money. Okay. ¿Qué debería de hacer? What should I do? You should share a document that mm -hmm. That uh, dueño, how do you say dueño? Ah, with the owner. The owner. Uh, okay, so I should share the document with the owner. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't give at the police. I should, or I shouldn't. No, you should. Ah, okay. At the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should give it to the police. Okay. Do we have another recommendation? You should post it in the radio. Ah, I should post it. Okay, I should post it on the radio. Creo que también eh, on internet, right? In Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I can post it in Facebook too. In the, like in todo motor. Social media. <laughs> in social media. Uh -huh. Okay, nice, nice. I really like it, guys. Amazing job. So if you take a look, should no, it's not difficult. It isn't hard at all. Eh, solamente es tener una idea de qué puedo recomendar. Now take a look at the following scenario here. Estábamos hablando in the previous conversation about recommendations sobre cómo mejorar your company. And they said uh, our company should improve the manufacturing process, should be in 21st century. We should talk about that in the meeting. Now let's take a look at the following page. Vamos a revisar la página. Mm, let me see, 16, and page 16 says, complete the statements using should or shouldn't, and compare the sentences with a partner. So, it says here, should is a modal verb to give, up, to give advice or to talk about you, what you think is right or wrong. En otras palabras, recomendaciones, right? Y es para dar opiniones. No estoy obligándolo, no es algo fuerte, no le estoy diciendo, hágalo. No, it's only a recommendation. For example, we should upgrade our system. They should bring new equipment. No le digo, traiga, cambia el equipo. No, es debería de, right? Uh, now, take a look at exercise number five. It says over there, complete the statements using should or shouldn't and compare your answers with a partner. Number one, guys, ¿qué tienen en la número uno? Our products... Should be fresh or shouldn't be fresh? What do you should think? ¿Qué opinan? Should. Should. Ah, should. should, porque si hablamos de comida, the products should be fresh. Exactly. Number two, la segunda, guys. Number two. This company forget yeah. about should quality. Not. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Mm, okay. So this company shouldn't forget about quality. No debería de olvidarse. Shouldn't forget about quality. Next one, guys. In three, we should. We should. Ah, we should explore. Deberíamos de explorar. We should explore. Okay, so we should explore the um, new markets. Number four, the machinery should be all or shouldn't be all. Should. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Porque la maquinaria no debería de ser, ajá, de ser vieja. So the machinery shouldn't be old. Exactly. Be Next one, guys. Number five. All the employees should or shouldn't use the machinery. Should. Should. 
should, right? So, todos los empleados deberían. So, all employees should use the machinery. Exactly. And pretty much, eso es todo. That would be it. Dudas, guys? Doubts? Questions? No hay preguntas? Wow, I'm super, I'm super happy to hear there are no questions, but I'm worried too. <laughs> okay. So, veamos la siguiente parte. Eh, vamos a trabajar un poquito de writing. Teacher. Dígame, Miss. Tell solo me. una consulta. Mm -hmm. El should y should not, el, mm -hmm. el should not con, contractado es shouldn't o shouldn't. Mm, yes, um, so normalmente utilizamos should not como la forma completa, eh, but should not, pero en la forma corta solo hacemos, eh, le quitamos una letra, de hecho no es mucho el cambio, se convierte en shouldn't, so should not, shouldn't. shouldn't. Mm -hmm. La L no se pronuncia, yeah, the letter L no se pronuncia en ningún, eh, ni positivas ni negativas, so yes, yeah, shouldn't. Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry. Hola, hola. Como con R, shouldn't o shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. Con Actually, R, no, es de hecho es una D. It's shouldn't. Okay. Ajá, shouldn't. So, lo que sucede es que se escucha probablemente una R suave uh, porque se dice rápido, right? When you say you should, you shouldn't. Uh -huh, pero no, es una D, solo que es una D bien suave. Shouldn't. Uh -huh, shouldn't. Uh -huh. Shouldn't. Gracias. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So la D es bien suave. That's why. Puede escucharse that way. Uh -huh. Thank okay, you, teacher. Doki. You're welcome. All right, guys. Now, let's take a look at the following. ¿Han trabajado escritura, guys? How you worked on writing? No, 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 no ha trabajado escritura before. Ok, mm -hmm. ok, guys. Uh, so, really quick. Necesito, vamos a revisar un poquito cómo escriben. So, we're going to check how you write. And this one says, write a six-line paragraph about the equipment at your company. You should or shouldn't. Uh, so, vamos a escribir rapidito. Um, Dice acá six line paragraph. Eh, de hecho, vamos a hacer oraciones. We're going to make sentences sobre el equipo que su empresa tiene, right? Using should or shouldn't. Um, yo esperaría que no nos sumara más de 10 minutos. I hope it is not going to take more than 10. Pero hagamos lo siguiente, guys. Let's do the following. Um, ¿Todos están en la computadora o están en el teléfono? ¿Are you in your phone or are you in the computer? Where are you? Okay, I stay at uh, cell phone. You're in the cell phone. Ok. Bye, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're going to do the next. Um, so, if you are in the cell phone. Uh, ok. So, vamos a escribirlo, guys, en la plataforma de una sola vez. Uh, because that way me queda uh, confirmación y también a ustedes puedo eh, revisarlo later y puedo también eh, brindarle like feedback en qué podemos trabajar o qué necesitamos trabajar a little bit. Uh, reading, o quizás writing es de las actividades que menos hacemos. So, vamos a trabajar un poquito. Eh, guys, les pido no utilicemos Google Translator. No, no lo escriban en español y lo pongan en inglés. Because that's not the idea. Um, so, en la, en la plataforma, in the platform, les voy a agregar un espacio para que agreguemos, eh, ya sea, si está en el teléfono, lo escriben directamente ahí. And si están, guys, en la... O si lo tienen en el cuaderno, si prefieren your notebook. So, escribamos in your notebook y luego le, pon, le toman captura. No hay problema. Les muestro dónde lo van a encontrar. In your platform. Yes, aparece in como... my notebook. Ah, ok. So, tómale captura y just take a picture and you'll find it there. So, en la, en la session 4 dice how to use should. Nos vamos abajito de la sesión 4. 
Y aquí abajo dice section four y está este pedazo. So it says write a six line paragraph, que es lo que ahorita vamos a hacer about the equipment of your company, you should or shouldn't. So acá, guys, en este espacio, si están en el teléfono, entran y empiezan a escribirlo, que creo que es mucho más fácil. Um, si están en la computadora, va a ser un poco más cómodo, pero igual ambos se pueden, right? So lo escriben directamente acá. Uh, you write it here. Acá tienen uh, algunas opciones de escritura, too. Y luego, cuando ya hayan terminado, yo clico en enviar. Eh, guys, tenemos hasta las 40 para hacerlo. Tenemos 10 minutos. We have 10 minutes. And lo de dejamos constancia, please, acá en la plataforma. In section number four, how to use should. So let's do that. 10 minutes, guys. Teacher, ¿cómo uh, llego ahí? Eh, alguna, well, lo va a hacer al igual que cuando usted entra a la plataforma y completa los ejercicios. Uh -huh. Se va a Manufacturing, la unidad número uno. Hey, Ezequiel. Hasta ahorita lo escucho. ¿Cómo está el baile? Ay, mire, un poco dado aquí. Por eso, por eso casi no me he pronunciado hoy. Ya lo hacíamos por allá bailando en un pie. So, no. um, Está en la plataforma. Vamos a la sección 1. Luego sección. se va acá donde dice tarea 3. A la par va a encontrar videoconferencia 4. Tarea 4. Entonces se va a conferencia 4. Se va hasta abajo. Y acá dice eh, section 4. Y acá está la instrucción. Es la misma. Es el mismo ejercicio. Solo dejamos constancia. Porque eh, quiero ver cómo escriben, guys. I want to see the way you write. And... El módulo 4 me meto. Eh, no, se va a ir a la, perdón, a la unidad 1. Um, sección 1. Sección 1. Uh -huh. Permítame. Voy a regresar acá. I'm going to go back para que ustedes puedan ver. Where to go. Eh, so vamos a la sección 1. Manufacturing. Ajá. Luego entramos. Well, my internet is thinking a lot, probably because it's Friday. <laughs> and acá solamente buscamos el que diga videoconferencia 4. Or, más fácil, guys, vean este icono y cuenten 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, vamos al 4. Y acá hasta abajo. All the way down. Y acá está. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Más fácil, como cuando va a ser, como cuando va a completar los ejercicios, right? Teacher. Yes, miss. Eh, escribe seis líneas. Dice, escribe un párrafo de seis líneas. Ajá. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, digamos que son seis líneas. <ríe> Lo que sucede es que un párrafo significa al menos cinco oraciones. Eh, deben de ir puntos, comas, punto y coma y todo eso. Uh -huh. Con el equipamiento, dice, de tu compañía. Lo que usas y lo que no usas. Eh, no, utilizando should and shouldn't. Por ejemplo, si se fija acá arriba, en la conversación, pueden tomar como ejemplo la conversación. Uh, they said, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? So... I think that we should do what other companies are doing. We should be in the 21st century. Entonces, lo que se refiere es, vamos a escribir sobre recomendaciones, digamos, a nuestra empresa, right? Sobre las tools que ustedes tienen. Uh, for example, let me give you some. Uh, digamos que para trabajar en mi casa, la empresa no me da computadora, right? Let's say. Uh, so yo creo que la empresa debería de darme una computadora reciente para yo poder trabajar y hacer home office cuando no tengo que ir a la empresa, let's say. So I think, I think the company should, eh, debería de dar, should give a personal computer, computer, a como está haciendo el gobierno, right? A personal computer to all employees. 
Ah, ok, so take a look, ya tenemos una recomendación sobre el equipo. O digamos que no, no pienso esto, sino que debería de ser solamente a algunos empleados dependiendo del área. So, should give a personal computer to some employees y ahí la vamos a ir armando. So, ¿qué deberían de hacer? Oh, uh, mi impresora no funciona. So, la empresa debería de dar mantenimiento uh, a las herramientas que tienen, right? Debería de actualizar, let's say, los software. So, cualquier recomendación, eh, por eso tenemos acá shouldn't, shouldn't, son recomendaciones sobre las tools y el equipment que ustedes utilizan en su trabajo, right? That is the one. Guys, tenemos eh, seven minutes. Teacher, ¿cuántas de should y cuántas de shouldn't? Dice acá solamente eh, seis líneas. Eh, ambas se pueden, shouldn't, shouldn't. So, usted decide. Si son cosas como que debería de ser su empresa, please on the shooting, vamos con shooting. Si vamos a agregar más de shooting, vamos con shooting, no hay problema. Cualquiera de las dos. Teacher. Yes, miss. How do you say muy noche? Uh, too late at night or just too late? Too late. Too late or too late at night? Too late at night. Thank Demasiado you. Demasiado tarde en la noche. Too late at night.
Um, okay, guys, so let me know how you're doing. ¿Cómo van? ¿Les falta todavía? Are you missing a lot? I finished. Ah, oh, you finished. Okay, very good. Guys, los demás ya terminamos también. Did you finish? No, teacher, aún no. Not yet. Okay, I'll give you like two or three minutes uh, extra to finish. Chair. Hello. Teacher. Teacher. Hi. Hi. I make uh, in the platform, right? ¿Qué hago I'm después? Sorry. ¿Qué hago después? Oh, if you finished it, solamente yeah. lo envía. Just sent it. Ahorita okay. reviso. Aquí segundo. dice enviar, no. Yes, donde dice ah, enviar. Ah, ok, ok, ya lo vi. Thank you. Mm. Ahí va. Teacher. Veo el de Vilma. Dígame. How do you spell shoes, zapatos? Uh, S H O E S. A H H H. S H O E S. Shoes. De hecho, solo veo el de Vilma. No vio el mío, dice. Mm, no, lo envío. Did you send it? Ya. Yeah. Give me some minutes. Let me update it because I don't see the rest. Lo hice en párrafo, lo envié. Ok, let me take a look. Solo lo actualizo. Because I don't see many. Ah, uh, oh, okay, yes. I see Jorge too. Jorge's, Abigail's, Mauricio's. Okay. ¿Por qué, teacher, me aparece una sola fila, teacher? Y lo he uh, separado por puntos. Uh, es, es la configuración de, de la plataforma. Okay. No, no le va a aparecer como líneas. Le va a aparecer uh -huh. todo como una sola. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Teacher. You shouldn't work without. You don't have it. Yes. Uh, how do you say contratar in English? Hire. H I R E. Hire. H I R E. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You should use the personal protection for your safety. Okay. Teacher is uh, number five, yeah? Video conference number cinco. Uh, number what? four, number four. Mm -hmm. Yes, number four. Thank you. Le va a aparecer how to use should. Uh -huh. Ok, añade publicación, ¿verdad? Yes, that is correct. Ok, thank you. Finish Por añadir la respuesta que creo aparece. que le aparece. Dígame. Ya finalicé, no sé si aparece el mío. Ah, ok, let me, let me update it. Let me this. I like your recommendations, guys. Very nice. Uh, so, estructuralmente, the ideas are very clear. Um, so, you communicate. Yeah, you can communicate in writing too. Very nice. Ahorita, let me just update it. Let me make sure we got it. Okay, solamente, um, Georgina, very nice. I like that one. Eh, quizás solamente el spelling, right? They should. But then it sounds good. Just the spelling for sure. Should give us uniforms work. Should celebrate birthdays. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Lady, sounds amazing. Okay, very nice. I like the vocabulary. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Okay. The shouldn't be. Okay. Okay. So Abigail sounds really good. Okay. Okay, guys. Very nice. So uh, please continue leaving your, your opinions, your messages, because it is important. Uh, it is important to know. Um, Cómo estamos con writing, you know, si nos cuesta escribir, if it is easier, and, uh, and cómo podemos, you know, mejorar la parte de writing too. Okay, guys, so to finish it up today, I have one more exercise um, so we can discuss it. Eh, but give me a moment. Oh, let me just present it super quick here. Oh, there we go. Okay, and uh, to finish it up today, guys, solo tengo un par de scenarios. I have just a couple of extra scenarios. <laughs> so you can tell us your opinion, what you think about it using should. Okay, give me a moment. And there we go. Ok, guys, so, um, mientras el resto de compañeros envían sus respuestas también, eh, while then they send their opinion, guys, solamente tengo un par de escenarios acá para que los revisemos really quick y ustedes nos den sus respuestas también. Uh, ok, guys, so take a look. Number one, help me guys with these scenarios. La primera dice... Um, Every time I go into my boss office, he takes his shoes off. His feet really smell. <laughs> what should I do? Guys, um, no sé si les ha pasado. I don't know if this is a real life story. Cualquier similitud con la realidad is just a coincidence. <laughs> but eh, ¿qué debemos de hacer, guys? What should we do? You should say the chain the sock. <gasps> really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Do you think so? Yeah. Teacher, how, yes. how what you mean? What does mean a smell? It smells que tiene olor. That it smells que huele or nah. for, for no decir otra cosa. <laughs> Okay, tiene un mal olor, right? So every time I go to my boss office, he takes his shoes off. Él se retira los zapatos, right? He takes them off. Um, so guys, what should we do? You should not you should not go to the office. <laughs> I but it's my boss office. <laughs> I need to go. Uh, so what do you think I should do? I shouldn't go. De afuera You should give give him a talco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should say. Really? Do you think so? Yes. <laughs> Guys. Uh, okay. Despedida. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. That's what I thought. Uh, so, guys, debería decirle, should I tell my boss? Para el regalo de amigo secreto, un talco. <clears throat> no, you're terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Okay. So, algo más, guys. Anything else? Oh, by the way, alguien mencionó por ahí uh, talco. So, podemos utilizar a uh, powder. Right? Or baby powder, right? Eh, ¿Qué más, guys? So, no, no quiero que me despidan. Give me more recommendations. You should, is, you should use mascarilla, the mask. Ah, okay. So, maybe I should wear a mask. Okay. 
Yeah, I think it works. Okay, I think it works. I think that one works. Okay, guys, next one. Um, so take a look at the following scenario. Uh, okay, okay. Take a look at this one. Oh my God, I don't know. Uh, guys, give me the letter. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Please, thank my you. My in law. Ah, okay. So, no se pelea, please. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. So, Continue. in order, you can read this one and, and uh, no sé si era la voz de Mauricio. Creo que no. No. No, no, no. Que él creo que era. De, que, de quién era la voz, guys. Todavía estoy en proceso de identificar las voces. Okay. My mother. No, no es. No es la, wait, no es la voz de... Exactly. Guys, the king is la voz. Whose voice is it? Hector, Whose voice is Hector. that? Hector. 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 Okay. Es que, you know, uh, en clases virtuales es bien común que no veo las cámaras porque es bien difícil, but eh, identifico las voces. So I can listen to people and identify voices. So Hector's voice. Okay, then order, let's go with this. And Hector nos ayuda con el siguiente. I read okay. this one, please. My mother in law lives, lives at mm -hmm. my house now. Mm -hmm. she, do, she doesn't have a job and sit on the sofa all day. Aiding bon, 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 Mm -hmm. What what should I do? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, take a look at this situation. Um, so it says that it's your mother-in-law. <laughs> she doesn't clean. She doesn't cook. Uh, she doesn't have a job, and she's not very nice. Nice. What should I do, guys? Give us recommendations. I think you should you should uh, uh, fire her. Uh, for, like, but is your mother-in-law? Is su suegra? This is your mother-in-law. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, guys, what should we do? I should go to the vacaciones. <laughs> you should. She should, or you should. I should go to the vacaciones, the vacation. Why? Why? Tell, tell us why. Because I don't. I don't. Why, why I don't want to stay with her. Ah, okay. So you it should only go a, on it's only a, a, It's only a example. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So you should go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Oh, pero en vacaciones va a estar en la casa. So on vacation, you will be at home. But what shall, uh, what shall happen when you come back at home again? <laughs> Ah, uh, so okay, okay. Let Let's think about more, more, more ideas, guys. So, what should we do? You should. Mm -hmm. Can Can help she? You should. Um, help she. Ayudar. Help. Uh huh. Help. Uh, okay, but help, like how, como, in what sense? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, with my, I closed your microphone. Uh, so, you should help her. Debería de ayudarle. Yes. Okay, I get it. Pero como en qué sentido, guys, ayúdennos a, a organizar, um, a completar the, the idea here. So, you should help her. Hacer que to find a job, to be a better person, a moverse de casa, to move uh, and to find another house, or ayudarle en qué sentido? How? You should say her that 
Help me. You should tell her. Mm, to, to... Ah, okay. So, ustedes deberían de pedirle ayuda. You should ask for help. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So, podemos teacher. utilizar siempre ask porque es como pedir. Yes. Es que yo pensé que yo había entendido mal porque dice no limpia ni la cocina, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Algo así dice. Mm -hmm. That's Entonces, right. Por eso le decía yo. Debería ah. ah, ella debería. So she should. Ah, got it, got it. Creo que hay. No, I confused the idea. Ok, so ella debería. Yes. She should help in the house. Al menos con la limpieza, right? At least with the cleaning. Ok. Any other recommendation, guys? I should remove the cable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I like that. <laughs> so I should remove the the TV, the radio, yeah. okay. the cable TV, okay, the, the cell phone. Exactly. The sofa, <laughs> la cama también de verde. Wow, sí. okay. The Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, oh my God, guys. <laughs> okay. The bombón. Tal, tal vez así busca qué hacer. <laughs> You're bad, guys. Okay, guys, uh, next one. So, Hector, Hector, please help us read. This is the last. I have the stream bread, bread. I don't know what I do wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I brush my teeth once a week and fall tweet, fall tweet a month. Mm -hmm. A month, I eat a onion a day to keep the dentist away. Uh -huh. I do everything right. What? else can I do? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So look at this. I brush my teeth once a week and floss. Floss is like usar el hilo dental, right? And floss twice a month. I eat an onion a day to keep the dentist away. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Guys, ¿qué está haciendo mal? What should he do? Because um, in this case, la primera oración es todo, guys. I have the stinky breath. breath. What is a stinky, guys? What is the meaning of a stinky? Apestoso. Yes, que huele apestoso. mal. Breath es el aliento. Uh -huh. So I have the stinky breath. Okay, ¿qué debería de hacer? What should he do? Brush. He should brush teeth. He should brush, he teeth. Should brush his teeth. ¿Qué tan a menudo? How often? Three times a day. Okay. Ah, three times a day. Okay, yes, he should brush his teeth. Or, or after, uh, after the food. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, after the food, yeah. after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Yes. ¿Qué he, más, guys? What else? He, he should use Listerine. She, uh -huh, he should use Listerine. Okay, it's okay. He should use the hilo dental. Ajá, uh -huh. eso, eso lo tenemos acá, que es floss. <clears throat> he should use floss, okay. He use bicarbonato. <laughs> ah, very nice. He should have baking soda. Okay. And more recommendations? Do we have another? He shouldn't eat onion. <laughs> exactly. He shouldn't eat onions, right, yeah. sir? It's como que, guys, no sé si alguna vez por enfermedad, uh, have you ever eaten garlic? ¿Alguna vez han, han comido garlic, like, every day? Yes. Por accidente. Ya es por Ok. <laughs> But no sé si han escuchado like que es bueno. Ajá, uh -huh. people say that is good. I don't know. But I think, pero creo que no ayuda con el aliento, right? No. So it's The like stomach. a... 
Uh, what happened with the stomach? The the hurt also. Ah, it's good. Yes. Ah, so because, it's good for uh, the stomach. Mm -hmm. Because? Because uh, help help us uh, prevenir a uh, sick. Ah, okay. So, yeah, como decía, um, an onion a day keep the doctor away. Okay, so ayuda a prevenir. I didn't know. It prevents. Okay. Very nice, guys. Really good recommendation. So, unfortunately, terminamos la sesión de este día. We finished today's session. Eh, guys, solamente pedirles nos ayuden con la, eh, en la plataforma, la unidad número uno. Y si podemos avanzar con la dos o con el resto de la unidad, please go ahead. Así es más fácil. Y no estamos como pendientes después, right? Que debo, no le he terminado, me falta. So we can do that. Eh, guys, solamente me ayuden confirmando mi asistencia, me ayuden con su camarita un momento, please. And uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. And okay. Okay. Si me ayudan, please, regalándome confirmación. Eh, Abigail Mendoza. Abigail. Present. Por acá. Gracias, Miss. Andrea. Andrea, no sé si ya llegó a su casa. Espero que sí. Blanca está por acá. Blanca, are you here? Presente. Gracias, Miss. Gracias por la conexión, too. Eh, Georgina. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Héctor. Héctor. Acabo de escuchar a Héctor. Eh, Jorge Sánchez. Presente. Mr. Sánchez está ah, por acá. Presente, yo. Ah, no, pero no worries. Uh, Jorge Narváez. Mr. Narváez está acá. Teacher, no, present. Gracias, Hector. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I took it here. Uh, Ezequiel. Aquí estamos, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Ahora sí, Ezequiel ya se puede ir a bailar. You can go dancing. No, um, sorry, you know, Juan José. <laughs> Juan José is here. Julio. So, por ahí escuché a Julio. Kenia. Present teacher. No he escuchado a Kevin. Kevin is here. Ah, no, está enfermo. Okay. He's sick. Lady. Gracias, Miss. And Mauricio. Present teacher. Morris. Gracias, gracias. Eh, Noé. Gracias, Noé, por ahí lo, lo escuché hace unos minutos. I heard no, you there. Sí. Eh, Salvador is here. Eh, Abigail Bonilla. Sí, Stephanie, Dinora. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. And Damaris. I hear. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Ok, guys, agradecerles por la asistencia, eh, por los 20 minutos de conexión que la mayoría están acá, guys. Thank you so much for that. Eh, recordemos que nos cuenta minuto a minuto, eh, right, las, uh, la conexión Zoom. Um, guys, solamente, let me see, creo que algunos eh, are, are not here. Georgina, si me regalo un par de minutitos, please, para la sesión one on one. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed. Que disfruten su viernes. Enjoy your weekend. Que descansen, guys. And I'll be seeing you next. Uh, see you in the Monday, I'll be teacher. seeing you Monday. Please, trabaja en la plataforma. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye, Abigail. Nice. See you guys. See you, Noe. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, bye. Georgina, le voy a robar un par de minutitos. I'm just going to steal some minutes from you. Give me a second here. Just let me clean it up. So I'm gonna check it out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so thank you, Georgina. Le voy a robar un par de minutitos nada más. Uh, how are you, Miss? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Todo bien? Everything good? Eh, estoy en mute. Estoy en silencio. So you're mute. <laughs> yes, I agree. Ahora sí. <laughs> Now I can hear you. 
Okay, amazing. So, Miss, I'm super glad to you here. Uh, primero quiero agradecerle por la asistencia. Thank you so much for your attendance. Le estoy conectada like every day here. Le he escuchado participando too. So I heard you participating, which is super, super amazing. Miss, uh, well, primero me gustaría saber un poco más, eh, you know, de, de usted, cómo va a utilizar el inglés, qué siente que le cuesta ahorita para poder um, darle como actividades extra, right, y poder eh, de forma directa eh, trabajar con lo que, con las habilidades que le están costando. Um, pues, ¿qué, ¿Qué siente que se le está haciendo difícil at this moment? Mm, escuchar. <ríe> el listening. El listening. Pero, ¿en qué sentido? Por ejemplo, cuando yo estoy hablando, las instrucciones, por vocabulario mm. nuevo, por velocidad, ¿qué cree que le cuesta más? Sí, um, sí me cuesta a veces cuando algunas palabras no las sé conectar o el vocabulario quizás no he escuchado esas palabras y voy que me pasa lo mismo con la lectura a veces no sé nunca he escuchado esas palabras o nunca las he visto entonces no sé qué dice la oración mm, ok pregunta va traduciendo cuando va escuchando eh, no uh -huh. solo uh -huh. solo intenta agarrar la idea uh -huh. Ok, el, el ejercicio que hicimos ayer con el vídeo, ¿lo sintió difícil? ¿El de la, de la impresora? Yes. Uh, sí. Del 1 al 10, ¿qué tanto comprendió? <risa> Honestamente, it's ok, it's ok, that's fine. Eh, sí, digamos, un 1%. Ok, bueno, ok. Le, le, le hago esta pregunta porque también es necesario saber cómo, qué tanto estamos comprendiendo. How much we are understanding. Y si estamos comprendiendo bastante, poquito, etc. Uh -huh. bueno, vamos a hacer... Falta vocabulario. Ok, vamos a, vamos a empezar a hacer un ejercicio, Miss. Eh, ¿Trabaja fin de semana? No. Mm, sábado. Ah, oh, vaya, no, este ejercicio no le va a tomar más de, más de un día. <risa> vaya, vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. We're going to do a little exercise. Um, déjeme ver. Déjeme ver. Si se lo puedo compartir acá. No, no voy a poder descargarlo. Ok. No puedo descargar el ejercicio, pero sí se lo puedo compartir. But I can share it. Le voy a compartir eh, un ejercicio. Eh, solo le voy a pedir dos cositas. Se lo voy a compartir acá y usted si gusta, cópielo, pégalo en otro lugar. So, copy, paste it in another place. Para que lo vayamos eh, o en el teléfono, right? So, cópielo, pégalo por ahí. Mándeselo a alguien en WhatsApp o en una nota. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer con este ejercicio? El ejercicio es de Derisen Darar. No sé si se recuerda el tema. Es un tema que vio en nivel 1, nivel 2, nivel 3, right? Entonces vamos a comenzar con lo más básico para ver qué tanto estamos comprendiendo. El ejercicio sí. eh, más abajito del listening, usted va a ver como toda, todo lo que ellos van diciendo. Porfa, no lo vea. <risa> Primero no lo vea. Don Lucaret, no vea la transcripción. Le voy a pedir que lo escuche. Busque un cuaderno, busque un lápiz, un lapicero. Y vaya tomando nota de todo lo que vaya escuchando. Hay cuatro conversaciones. Vamos con la conversación. Todas las que pueda. Si puede con la conversación 1, 2, 3, 4. Y quiere practicar listening dura, con las cuatro conversaciones, hágalo. No hay problema. Si no puede ser, por ejemplo, la primera conversación ahora, la segunda mañana, la tercera domingo, porque la idea es irlo haciendo progresivamente. Le voy a pedir que, por ejemplo, si ellos dicen, hello, how are you? Usted anote, hello, how are you? Lo vaya como, digamos que fuera un dictado, usted lo escucha y lo va escribiendo. Si no recuerda cómo se escribe o qué palabra, o qué significa, pero escuchó la palabra, no importa, escríbala como la escucha. Cuando termine todo el ejercicio y ya crea que ya estuvo, entonces váyase otra vez al ejercicio que le acabo de compartir y ahí está cómo se va escribiendo. Y usted compara lo que usted escribió 
como eh, con la escritura que ya está, con el transcript. Eh, nos va a ayudar con nuestro oído y también a recordar vocabulario, porque a veces uno dice, eh, pues puede ser falta de vocabulario o simplemente puede ser que usted no recuerde algunas palabras y su cerebro se queda, ¿qué era esto? ¿qué era esto? Y se queda pensando y el, el listening ya avanzó o la persona que está hablando pues ya dijo más información y nos, nos, nos quedamos procesando todavía. Entonces, intentemos esto para el lunes. Uh, so, si puede ser una, está bien. Puede ser la conversación dos, tres, cualquiera de ellas. Eh, si quiere hacer las cuatro, mucho mejor todavía. Y el lunes me, coma, me comenta cómo le fue. Si lo sintió muy fácil. O si fue como, ay, no, qué fácil, ya lo entendí todo, you know. O si, si le funcionó, si necesita escucharlo 20 veces, déjele, no hay problema, porque nuestro oído necesita educarse, right Entre más lo escucho, eh, llega un momento en el que alguien pueda decirlo súper rápido, pero mi oído ya entiende qué está diciendo. Entonces vamos a intentar educar poquito a poquito, right eh, eh, Dígame. Eh, es que um, yo no recibí el, el módulo 1, ni el 3, ni el 4. Entonces, no sé si me podría dar algunos temas que yo pueda reforzar, porque solo recibí el 2 el, el mes pasado, el módulo 2, y mm. ya no hablé con los demás. Entonces. Ok. Uh, uno de los temas más importantes que vamos a ver este módulo es la parte de pasados. Y eso sí, es súper importante. Gracias por recordármelo. So, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Les voy a compartir en el grupo eh, un par de verbos. Ay, no puedo entrar a ese grupo. Ok. Eh, mm, sí, mi, solo le voy a pedir que re, revise los verbos. Busque por ahí. Eh, algún ejercicio donde hayan verbos irregulares. Eh, déjenme ver si le encuentro uno rapidito. En internet hay muchos recursos, entonces usted puede entrar, puede buscar algún tema y va a encontrar muchos. Con estos verbos solo le voy a pedir que se los aprenda, mis que me memorice tantos como les sean posible. As many as you can. Eh, vamos a ver hasta pasados. De hecho, en la próxima clase vamos a revisarlos para asegurarnos que la mayoría se los pueda. Aquí, aquí le comparto una fotito. Eh, puede buscar esa o si no, si no le funciona, eh, por su parte busque irregular verbs y, e, e intente memorizarse, right? Cinco verbos todos los días, cinco, cinco ahora, cinco mañana, cinco domingos, cinco lunes, poquito a poquito para que vaya creando eh, más verbos, más actividades. Pero iniciemos con el listening. Igual, en los listening siempre hay vocabulario nuevo, verbos nuevos. El día lunes vamos a revisarlos porque vamos a hacer un repaso de pasados uh -huh. para que vayamos trabajando. Ok, okay. gracias, Miss. Ya les robé tiempo. <ríe> so, thank you so much. Um, cualquier cosa me puede escribir en WhatsApp. I'm in the group. And si me Acuerdo. Voy a intentar compartirles material el fin de semana en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes vayan en el tiempo libre, right? Eh, escuchando algún audio o haciendo un par de ejercicios, you know? Y en la plataforma también siempre posteamos uh, ejercicios adicionales, all right? Thank you, Miss. Gracias, Gracias por su tiempo. Me dice el lunes cómo le va con el listening, all right? And okay. descanse, Miss, que disfrute su fin de semana. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>